Mr. Opoku, now that you're free on bail, what guarantee do we have that you won't do this again, sir? Mr. Opoku? David Menzies for the Rebel News here at the rear door entrance of the courthouse at Old City Hall in downtown Toronto. Well, folks, I'm here because Samuel Opoku is in court right now. They are confirming if his if he's followed his bail conditions, that is. There's really no sense to be in the courtroom with him because, well, yeah, you guessed it. There is a publication ban yet again, which severely handcuffs what I can tell you. However, I'm gonna wait here for Mr. Opoku to come out and nothing stops me from asking him the questions that need to be asked in this case. Namely, why did this man allegedly pour buckets of liquefied human feces on three separate occasions dousing five people? What did he hope to accomplish by dousing people in liquefied feces? And has he reached out uh, to his victims? Has he apologized for this disgusting and deplorable act? And of course, I wanna ask him, what guarantee do we have that he is not going to victimize another, city of the, another citizen of this city now that he is out on bail? So um, stand by, I'll see if I can get a hold of him. And we'll see what he has to say, if anything. Mr. Opoku. Why did you pour liquefied human feces over people? What was your agenda in doing that, sir? Mr. Opoku? Mr. Opoku, why would anyone do something so disgusting as that? Do you want this? Mr. Opoku, have you apologized to the victims yet? Mr. Opoku? Mr. Opoku, now that you're free on bail, what guarantee do we have that you won't do this again, sir? Mr. Opoku? Have you apologized to your victims yet? Mr. Opoku, what, what were you hoping to accomplish by doing that, sir? Mr. Opoku, why would you do something so disgusting? Yeah. Mr. Opoku, do you have any words of apology? Any words of contrition? Mr. Opoku, what other crimes have you committed? Mr. Opoku, what do you have to say to those people that you covered in liquefied feces? Mr. Opoku, what do you have to say to them, sir? Well, there you have it, folks. We tried to get Mr. Opoku on the record to get an explanation of why he did what he's alleged to have done. But we received the silent treatment. I guess he's been very well coached by his legal team. Then again, how in the world would you defend the indefensible? In any event, he's run into the Eaton Center. We can't go in there and film. So we'll just have to wait until January 6th which is his next court appearance, and see if he's in a more talkative mood regarding his alleged deplorable and disgusting crimes. In the meantime, all this city has to go on is Mr. Opoku's promise that he won't do something like that again. For the Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, if you like the kind of news we deliver at the Rebel News, trying to get you the other side of the story 
then why not become a premium content subscriber? Go to premium.rebelnews.com, sign up, and never miss another Rebel video.